believe? What do you believe? Oh. <laughs> I'm not going to ask you why. I'm not going to ask you why. No, no. Just so I can have an idea. I had the most open mind going. You're obviously in Christianity and in Muslim and Islam, sorry, and in other things. There's this complete black is evil, white is good. So it's got nothing to do with colour skin now today. It's just to do as a way of describing like darkness and light. There is an explicit, there's an explicit statement of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Explicit. A non-Muslim living in a Muslim land, if you treat him uh, unjustly, I will be his advocate on the day of judgment. I can give you a drink. It's a beautiful drink if you've already got a glass full of drink. You've already got a drink. So let's deal with your drink first. When you up here. No. Alright, so it's just chance. I know you talk about being monthly, but it's not every four weeks, is it? Right now, uh, I do markets and events, and this is my event season. So the next four or five week weekends, I'm in events. So, so it's just chance. Chance. But you can message us on the EF Tower channel, and if you want to have a chat, we can arrange it, it's not a problem. Right, what do you want to discuss? Well, yeah, I've got the time now. What, what, do, what do you believe? Huh? What do you believe? What do you believe? Oh. <laughs> I'm not going to ask you why. I'm not going to ask you why. No, no. Just so I can have an idea. I had the most open mind going. Okay, that's a good start. I, that's I, a good start. I call myself a Christian. Right, okay, that's cool. So, I've listened to lots of, lots of your things in the past. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. And just say for argument, the, um, the verses about beating your wife. Okay. You go to the Quran? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As a Christian, you go to the Quran? I want to explain something. All right, all right, all right, all right, go on. Right. Now, so I've listened to that, and I agree with things you say. As, a, as an Englishman growing up, you're going to have bias in life. Yeah. Things you can't even control. Agreed, agreed. You know. agreed. So you understand what I'm saying. Right. And you're going to be brought up pretty much. Social condition. Angry, angry. Social condition. Yeah. So I'm sitting listening to it. Now, it was you and somebody else from Dallas. I think it was a Jewish guy. So it and talked about. about, it was talking about the, um, the way it was done. The this And it didn't even make sense to me at all, at all. And then someone just sort of said to me about, it was ceremonial. It, that, that was the way. It, it was, yeah, it was, uh, so, so, what's the word? Suddenly thought to me, right, you've got a situation, you've had an argument with your wife, whatever, you've gone through a process. This process of whether arguing, discussing, the process of removing from the bedroom, blah, blah, blah. And then it seems silly to me, why would you just do this so stupid tap? And it suddenly come to me, the way it was explained was because that now is the final thing. That's After it. After this, divorce. So, in other words, sort of like. Well, just, just to stop you very quickly, it's not necessarily divorce. Divorce, okay. It's basically up until this point, the matter's been private. Yeah. But now it's going to be time to pull out the family, pull in the imam. And so suddenly it made sense. And I thought, so if, if the beating was literally, up, yeah, that's, that's the end anyway. Anyone, yeah. yeah. So in other words, it means more that the beating is ceremonial. Sim symbolic, symbolic. Symbolic, sorry, that's probably yeah, the word yeah, yeah, yeah. It suddenly clicked. So now what I'm trying to say to you is, I'm very open. Yeah. So although I would describe myself as a Christian, right. I'm not somebody who's going to look at every opportunity to try and no, no, see that. the worst bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm no, saying no, that in a way of introduction. The interesting thing about what you've just said is that I was speaking to... I think you actually damaged a lot of the good these people did. Did I? I'm not oh. sure if it was you, because you looked and I was really into it, and then they talked about uh, the a numerical miracle, and oh, I don't know if it was you, so I'm not going to say okay. it, but it's something it might be your anyway, look like. Going back to your and point, and that turned me the no, other no, no, way. No, 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 but even that, even that. It, Obviously, well, obviously, don't worry, I've got to go. Right? You don't know, know what I mean. No, no, but right. obviously, it's like chalk and cheese, the two kind of conversations. But that conversation on its own, if you sit and relax and listen to it properly, you can explain it. And you know when you can respond back? Yeah, I know. And ask questions? I know. Yeah, I, maybe I haven't got yeah, time, but no, that, that but would be more than... But there's a very important point of what you just raised, which is that I was speaking to a scholar about this. And I said that if by doing something that Allah has set a limit on, 
today it might have in certain societies the exact opposite reaction i.e. instead of reconciling the marriage may have the uh, uh, the adverse reaction of actually causing a split up would it be suitable to, to still do that and he said no because the hikmah the reason is so for example and the, the second khalif <coughs> uh, uh, Abu Bakr radhi anhu Umar 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 radhi anhu sorry he suspended the hadith punishment for stealing and the reason why he suspended the punishment for stealing was because people were starving and so he said it's not appropriate now to enforce this even though Allah has enforced it in the Quran because the circumstances and the reasoning behind it the hikmah behind it was for a specific way and method and so for example today living in a society uh, in, in say in England if you feel that a particular process so for example if you feel that by doing something it will have the adverse effect then it's better not to do it and be patient I don't know whether you came in the conversation I was more talking about those verses just to try and explain. No, I'm trying to understand why, why, would, it, why be, would it be a symbolic? What's the point? You know, I, 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 you know, jumping on the bandwagon, being the way you're brought up, it was like a way to attack the Muslim, wasn't it? Oh, you can beat. Well, you know what's beautiful about it? You know what's beautiful about it? You see, it te- that that particular one, yeah. one thing, teaches you how to understand the Quran. Yeah. Because we use the hadith. And we well, that's what I want to talk to you more about. Yeah, 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 yeah. Honestly, I am. So got when the time you see now, kill the unbeliever yeah. wherever you find them. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? yeah. You have to use the same logical understanding that you did with the beat the wife to try and yeah. get to the bottom of it to understand this verse. The, the thing is, because I haven't got time now, no, it I know, can I know, be I know. a bit unfair to Shall I take leave you with something. Are you on Facebook at all? Yeah, but I mean, the thing that would be a bit unfair, like what I've really felt struggle with at the moment with Hadiths is right, so we have, from my understanding, and I don't want to say anything wrong, supposedly described as strong, weak, right. things like that. Yes, yes, yes. And I've understood, if I'm correct, that a strong hadith doesn't mean to say every solitary word is accepted, and a weak hadith doesn't mean to say every solitary word is the, not right. No, 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 the, there's, uh, there's caveats. Yeah. So now, as I've heard you say in attacking the Bible before, is things that, well, it, if that can be true and that can't be true, how do you know what to believe? Right. right. So now... Like I say, this is the wrong time because you can explain to me. I, I won't, I'm going to leave now and you're going to want to tell me, but I've told you no, no, before no. I even talk no, 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 to no, Right? Is that it would be natural thing is then. So I've got Hadith and I've heard that if it goes against the teaching of the Quran, or you ignore it and if it goes with it, but it's deeper than that. Right. So to know what to accept, whether it's an individual thing through prayer yeah, yeah, yeah. and through that, or whether there is a way. But you understand what I'm saying? There's, yeah, but the reason we talk... I'm not going to go into no, go the on. The reason we talk about the Bible, you see, we believe it's been corrupted. Yeah, I know. Right? We believe our teachers tell us it's been corrupted. All right. The Bible itself, we can bring a pair of evidence it's been corrupted. We can bring two Bibles and they're different. We can show... We can demonstrate the corruption. Yeah. You understand that point, right? So uh, once, you, once you demonstrate corruption within a book, how do you know what's true and what's not? That's, what, yeah? right. That's the principle you say. The Quran yeah. beyond becomes the, the, the standard. So we will then use the Quran to measure the Bible by. Yeah. And then we will use the Quran to determine what's true in the Bible and what's not. And how do you do that with the deeps? Oh, with, no, back to Islam again. Okay. No, I'm just saying that this is what I'm struggling oh, okay. with. So right. I understand that principle. Now, if I put that principle into a hadith, no, so, so, with, a good so, it, so with the hadith, we have chains of narration. Yeah. It's called Isnad. So we, we can basically say, this, someone from the time of the Prophet, four yeah. generations. So, said, so now you've got the hadith, and it's, is it called Sahih? Sahih, Sahih. Right. So now we've got to that, but not everything in that hadith necessarily will be taken as the truth. No, no, what is right, we have, it's a very complex situation. Yeah. So you have the hadith, and then you have what's called faqis. And what faqis does, we'll look at the hadith. And they won't just look at hadith, they look at all the hadith on that matter. And they'll look at the Quran and everything it says on that matter. And then from that they will derive an understanding. But we haven't got the time to do that. That's no, why no, we no. need scholars. Which dedicate their lives to doing these things. Yes. Do you understand? So that's how we then understand the hadith. First of all, is it authentic? And then, how do we understand it? Do you understand? Yeah, yeah. I understand what you're saying. Right. So, most sahih hadith are sahih. They're authentic. Mm. Now, you could have a weak hadith, but it comes from multiple chains. So there might be someone weak in one place. Do you understand? So, it's a big science. It's, it's not easy. Well, no, when I and it's, it and it's like, time, it's, it's like, um, it's like an it. MI5 network amongst all of these narrators that we can chase, chase their lives. 
We know that. We can know whether they yeah, lied, were they there, and all of these things. So it's from that point. And then the other thing you have to accept is that the ones who relate the hadith also relate the Quran. They're the ones who transmitted the Quran. Yeah. So if we're going to start calling them liars here, then how can we trust them on the Quran as well? Do you understand? So it goes deeper again. So majority of the hadith, Sahih hadith, stand, it's just what you take from it. That's the key. How you interpret it. Okay. So, so I was reading, I read something the other day. I read something the other day, for example. There was uh, a guy coming uh, from Saudi. And the train, the plane got delayed. So he was going to combine his uh, his afternoon prayer with his uh, late afternoon prayer. And then about six different people on that journey, all making the same journey, all prayed differently. Different times. They did, some did it at home. Some did it on the way. Some wait on the plane. And each one, each one brought a valid reason. So they were all correct. This is how technical it can get. So, so from one issue of something that's just like prayer. There's, there's so many opinion on it, and all of them are supported. You understand? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, 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 so I, 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 I'm, I, I can stand. I, I, I stand on truth, right? I'll handle so it. So I, I can stand. Last week, very late, it was me, Paul, Paul as in part of your team. Um, well, well, not part of our team, but yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. Sorry if I say something. No, 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 because no, no, we keep getting to call the Dawah team. The Dawah. Right, We're here, Dawah. And an, an, an atheist, and then there was a Christian. And the Christian brought up about the poetess. That... Now, he said, let me read something. He read something, and the first line was something along the. We didn't know, see, in, in the Hadith, I believe, or whatever, we were saying, we don't know what she did. And then it went on after that to uh, Muhammad, I believe, having her killed. And then I just interjected and said, but surely if you don't know what she did, that's a whole argument over. Because then she could be deserving of whatever happened. Do you understand what I'm saying? And also he brought up about racism. And he was saying about... Uh, Adam and uh, one lot of people are black and go to hell, one people are white. And I said to him, the same again, I said, look, you're obviously in Christianity and in Muslim and Islam, sorry, and in other things, there's this complete black is evil, white is good. So it's got nothing to do with colour skin now today. It's just to do as a way of describing like darkness and light. So in other words, what sounded racist that you could put it over, if you put in that time, you know, if I even if I watch a program from the 70s today, I could say terrible things, right? So what I'm trying to get over to you, I could stand up there and I can defend what I thought was wrong. And then we got round to Paul, he used then about um, slavery in the New Testament, which I totally disagreed with. I am a believer, if, if any, I only believe in one Bible, New King James, uh, not New, sorry, the King James. And in there, he doesn't use the word slavery, he uses the word servant. And so he calls the big problem of it. And he said a lot of things, and I didn't, I left not knowing. And then afterwards, when I did the research, you know, that word, the word slavery had two means. It meant, um, it meant forced or not forced. And it, it was used, the word is used, I can't remember, it's like 26 times. And most of the times it's talking about apostles or disciples and they were slaves to yeah, God. Yeah, yeah. So he really, you know, what upset me is I've stood there openly knowing, you know, speaking the truth, knowing that that Christian was totally bending things yes. to get a message across. And then I tried to, and I wasn't getting big, I just said, well, that's wrong. And on a claim of ex-evangelist, uh, ex-born again Christian, and a studier of Greek, that means he knew what he was doing was misleading. Uh, so what I'm saying is, which I don't think you'd do, if you have strength to believe that Islam is correct, you should not need to do that with a lie. No, 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 of course not. Which is, I don't but know if it was you, but that's when I got upset with whoever it was. No, I listened you know to you. And no, then, I don't know why they did it. But then the same thing you talk about, about, about numbers, and everything I looked in office yeah. is that's a lie. Now, somebody... We're going to have that discussion. Okay. But what I was going to say, 
See, the reason that they lie is because Paul, the founder of Christianity, lied. Yeah. Yeah? He said four times, I'm not lying, I'm not lying, I'm not lying, I'm not lying. And then he says, why am I being persecuted for this lie? Because of the good I've done. Wait, wait a minute. He says, you're not lying. And they're lying. So, this, this, you know this concept of takia? This idea you can lie to people. I have faith. heard about it, but I didn't no, know it's... Islam. Is it... Well, I believe it, there's a different... Is, I don't understand. It's from yeah, but isn't it, the Takiya, isn't it, is there a divide between Shia and no, again, Sunni? The one one agree and one See, don't. Takiya, the, the way that they translate Takiya is the fact that you can lie yeah. to promote your belief. Three of ways, can't you? Uh, I think they obviously protect your life and such. But they, 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 they portray it as that Muslims will never tell you the truth, they're always lying because they're trying to build this empire. All right. Now, if you look at Christianity, Paul lied all the time. He became with we the Jews. I don't agree with you. No, 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 it's good, it's good, it's good. Sorry. I, I want that dispute. Yeah, cool, yeah, yeah. But you'll see, and I'll, I'll demonstrate it from your scripture, yeah. that Paul identifies as a liar himself. And then he says he's not a liar, not a liar, not a liar. And then he says, why am I being persecuted for this lie? For the... Those in the law, I'm coming to the law, and such and such and such. All right. The other thing I wanted to say, I won't go into that one right now. You know this sex slave business? Oh, as if like... Well, uh, I don't like attacking these yeah, no, I've no, heard no, lots no, of no. things. But they are, they are like, there's, a, there's a, a woman under the stairs, right. chained up, that you can have sex with. When you is it, what is this? Basically, it just means... What, woman, what are we talking about? Is it against Christianity or against Islam? Islam. Islam. Oh, yeah, so yeah. in Islam, you don't talk about sex slave, right? Right, so they, they have this image in their mind, a woman chained up under the stairs, naked, and then when you want to go have sex, let's go have sex with her. It's not, it's the fact that you've got this woman who is part of your household now because you're the captive of war and is it permissible to have relations with her? Yes, it is. Does that mean she's naked under the stairs chained up? No. no. It just means that, is it permissible, is it halal? So, for example, if a blonde comes to me now and wants to have sex with me, yeah, is it permissible? No, it's not. I'm not allowed to have sex with random women in that sense. But because this woman's a captive of war, and she, she, she's part of the household. I just believe. I'm just, I'm just giving you an example oh, no. of the portrayal of words. Yeah, yeah. Sex there's, slave. There's an obvious. There's got to be a difference of opinion, or I be Islam, you be a Christian. Yeah. So we have this thing. What I can't understand, me personally, I know it happens, but I can't understand. And I'm not blaming Islam. I think Christians are just as bad. I can only bring up what I'm bringing up. But what I'm saying is. If like that, if 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 somebody who studied the Islamic belief, belief and they then twist something that they know they're twisting, that's a lie. Then that is yeah. In the same way, like I say, if someone twists something that we said that they know. I understand, but we most, have of to be time, famous, most of the time, most of the time, most of the but most of the time, they don't know. Yeah, that can be. Yeah. Most of the time, I speak to a Christian, they think the disciples were eyewitnesses and wrote what they saw, and it sounds beautiful. That's not the case. Yeah. Do look forward can I, to can I, can, I, can I take your details? If you In don't what mind? way? Email address or uh, email or phone number? What do you want to do? Oh seven eight. What's your name again? Andrew. Andrew. Andy. Andy. You must be local with an accent. Uh, I'm born and bred in Balham, yeah. Yeah, okay, all right. That, yeah, that I'll put it down as Andy the there. Christian, yeah? Whatever, yeah. I, I was going to put nominal, but... Oh, well, I, 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 Paul was the first one. Right, just take your number in. You don't need to do that on film. In the early 70s, my dad was about 10 years old. And I can still remember there used to be guys standing on the right. No! Does that look like Thank you very much for your kind words. Alhamdulillah. And we're just about to leave. You better uh, save you. Yeah, yeah. All right, Andy. Um, yeah. I mean, if I'll you, let you know when I'm coming. Yeah, the week before or in a few days. And if you want to have a topic, yeah. you want to have a little, yeah. you want to have a little bit. No, I'm saying it. If you, yeah, yeah. want to start with something. Yeah. No, but I'm saying it. If you want to have a topic in mind, have yeah. a little bit of research on it. I don't mind. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, definitely. I don't mind flying blind as well. Yeah, I say it. The, the one problem I've got at the moment is if I was doing something, the hadiths, right? Because obviously, from what I understand. Um, Part of so being a Muslim and praying Islam is you, you have the Quran, and then on top of that, we I'm have the Hadith. I've got an easy way to start it. Because look, I can't give you a drink, this beautiful drink, if you've already got a glass full of drink. If you've already got a drink. So let's deal with your drink first. Christianity. And then, once we take that away from you, okay. then, then, then we can move on to what I'm offering you. So right now, you're sat in a, a buffet. You're in an all-you-can-eat buffet right now as a Christian. Yeah? And you've got no bill, the credit card's been paid, the bill's been paid, and you're eating what you like. And I'm going to come to you and say, listen, mate, 
you have to pay for this meal. Yeah. And it's better food over, the, over the road. I first got to convince you that you're going to pay for your meal. And yeah, but I mean the thing is, like I say, the reason I first came is because I had questions. I had questions. Do you know what I mean? And I was speaking to Paul about four or five weeks ago. Really great conversation. And I don't know why he just suddenly. Somebody said something, it was only three of us, and it got off topic, and then you just said, I don't want to talk to you. No, 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 we'll talk, we'll talk, we'll talk. And again, uh, like, you know, from things you've said, there's quite a good connection. Yeah, no, have a look. We're, we're seeking God truth. bless everybody, God bless. I'm sorry if I... Uh, that... Mashallah. Andy the Christian, soon to be Andy the Muslim. Inshallah. Balance the table or scales in their direction because I know that I'm going to want to believe what I'm being told. Yeah. You understand what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. So, this whole idea about the beat and the wife, and also, you know, it, it didn't make any sense to me at all this idea of doing that. And I just thought, listen, it says beat, it says beat, it says beat, the beat should be sure. And then all of a sudden, I thought to myself, do you know what? The fact that, you know, if we're honest, Islam, Christian, anything, man, woman, I lose my temper. There are many, many. Out there to hit them, right? And if you go back in time, it wasn't even looks bad. And I'm on about 30, 30 40 years, years ago. Not, not well, I was born here as well, and I, I, I agree with you there. Yeah. So now, so if you take that on board, this whole idea of a man hitting a woman isn't hard to understand at all, right? So it's easy to fall into it. And then that means the opposite. Now, suddenly. It makes sense because it's so ridiculous. That's right. And if that woman, that's we're, right. we're assuming she understands, that's it right. would work somebody else. Of course. So if both people know, that's right. Suddenly she knows right, where that's going. You know what? I've mucked about enough now. Right, so I know where it's that's going. Right. I thought it was divorced, but he said it's not. It's just about bringing the argument out into the open. But whatever it is, it is, isn't it? And, and you know, there's a very interesting verse in the Quran. Allah says that there are verses that are explicit and yeah. those that are ambiguous. And the people with a disease in their heart will go to the ambiguous verses. You understand? I understand what you're in, saying. In other words, what I they'll do is they, they look at that and they'll, and they'll, do abu they'll abuse I their wives. Describe that verse is ambiguous. Well, it, the, 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 the outcome of what you're doing yes. without understanding of this, yes. But it's not, um, I don't think it's ambiguous in the Well, way. the thing is that the word daraba in the in the dictionary has the most extreme meaning of beheading and the lowest meaning which well, is which is, is my argument which is a which is a harsh See, word we've got so it, so there is a scope of meaning and interpretation well, we, we suffer from the fact that the Quran and the and the and the, um, the Bible were written in languages that at the time were, were, no, were known and were and were, no, but were limited though. No, but it, we believe that the Quran, when it was revealed, was the pinnacle of excellence of linguistic ca capability and capacity. But those people at that time understood it far better but than the ones. If there's, if there's a word in Hebrew, and I believe that Hebrew and um, Arabic, Arabic are quite do related. Have quite a, yeah. if, so, if I'm a Hebrew speaker, I can catch on to yeah. Arabic. Yeah. Now, so that word. We can have 30 different meanings. Yeah, maybe, that's right. So this is why the vows and all these right. introduced. That's right. Now, even with them, like I said, this situation in the Greek of using the word slave, and then when you, because the, the words for servant weren't very good. There was a servant that was basically like in a restaurant type servant or a bar, or that sort of servant. There's, there was another word for a servant who was like a young servant in your house, right? All this. But, the word that is used, and it simply says in my in in the dictionary, was that it translates to slavery. But it, then it says a slave who is voluntary or a slave who isn't. Now that puts into a different of meaning. Course. If I'm voluntary, of course. I'm not a slave. Of course. So that's why my Bible describes it as a servant. Yes. Now, when I then read the other 26 times it's in the Bible, it clearly in no reference means slave in a bad way. Whereas I'm not denying in the Old Testament, slavery in the bad way was there. But I even think in the time of the, the Quran and in the time of the Old Testament, 
I think Stavey still had a, a very much open meaning. You know, you've got even we're changing now in Egypt the idea of these slaves that supposedly built the pyramids being so badly treated, and now they're starting to talk about no. They were fed when and looked after. I mean, what is slavery in this country? If you even go back to like, say, 100, 150 years ago, if you didn't work in a household, that's right. That's right. you starved. That's right. You know, now, well, you were a slave. You can say what you want to say, but it, technically you were. You know, if you left, you had no one to feed you. Yeah. If you stayed, you were a serving that. You house. did everything the master said. And, to, and at the end of the day, you couldn't leave. That's right. You, know, you couldn't even marry without someone's that's right. permission. That's that's right. That's right. It's a horrible thing. You couldn't hunt a wild rabbit or a deer. Yeah, but it kept them alive <laughs> yeah, yeah. in a horrible yeah, time yeah. where we didn't have social security. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We didn't have these yeah, things. That's right. You know, so we look at it and, you know, we talk about... I've, I've often heard talk about slavery in, say, uh, the result of a war. So the idea being that, yes, this person is a slave, but... If we walk away and leave them, they're either too young or unable That's right. in the land we live, which was probably a harsh, warm, whatever place. Absolutely. The chances are that person, if I leave them, will die. die. We'll die. So if I take them, they're not going to die. Now, okay, they are my slave, they're in my household. Now, it's the same as everything. Everyone's on this thing about the terrible thing that happened in the, the African slavery. But we're talking about in general, if I'm, whether I'm a Muslim, or a Christian at this time and I've gone into war a Roman saying I've got a slave I want the best out of that slave there was talk about slaves being given medical treatment operations things like that like, what's the point I don't want that slave just to starve to death and die I think the important thing here is that many of the rules or regulations or, or aspects were acceptable for a certain time because the circumstances uh, for those circumstances, it was necessary. Now, what a lot of the scholars say is that in today's day and age, we've entered into global agreements that prisoners of war will be treated in this way, in this way, in this way. And so a Muslim has to adhere to that which is agreed to. No, no, so for example, so for example, there were some people who said, can we bring back this captive of war? And the majority scholarship opinion is that you can't do it now. Because today we've entered into agreement and society, and those societal pressures have changed. Would that, would that, not, would that not be dependent on, on how strong, I don't know if I'm being disrespectful, the word caliphate. So in other words, if, I, if I'm in a position of extremely powerful um, uh, presence, strong, Islamic, because the people want to be Muslim, and they now have the Quran, so now we follow what the Quran teaches down to the letter, in the same way in the Bible it says we have to do what the government says even if we disagree, as long as it's not totally against something we're teaching them. So in that respect, if you're a Muslim in England, you are, are told to respect where you are and do these things, yeah. and to do it properly. You, have to, you have to respect the law of the land. But then if you were in a country where it was really strong the other way, they would surely still be allowed to take us. No, because look, I'll give you a very classic example in terms of when people talk about uh, following Islam literally or follow it, it, you have to follow it in relation to how it was taught. Now at the time of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, the Prophet told the companions, nobody will pray Asr Salah, which is the third prayer here. They will read it at such and such place. So some of the companions got the news late and they realized that if they didn't pray that prayer there, they would actually miss it because the time would elapse by the time they got to where the Prophet wanted them to be. So some of them read and some of them didn't read because some of them said, the Prophet said, nobody will read here, we will read it when we get there. Others said, no, hold on a second. By that, the Prophet meant get there as quickly as you can. He didn't mean miss your prayer. So some read and some didn't read. When they got to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, 
They told him this is what happened. He did not correct either of them. No, right, okay, I understand. Yeah. So both right in their own way. You understand my point? So they came to it. It's probably not what they did, but how they came. Right. So the issue here is when people say but that follow is a bit different. No, 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 no. So, so for example, where some Muslims say we can now once again do this thing, the scholars with their evidence would say, hold on a second. There is this caveat, this caveat, this caveat, this caveat. And the reason why it was done was circumstantial. And when the circumstances have changed and your global agreements of what you have signed up for have changed, you cannot reinvent or reintroduce something that now has, has you understand my point? Okay, I understand your point, but I do think you would have um, genuinely. Okay, so you've got that understanding, and I would believe there are many people with that understanding. Most people, in fact. But and, there would be some people with that. Of course, but then you'll always get deviants yeah, everywhere. Yeah, but that's, that's the problem. Yeah. Look, you'll always, get, you'll always get some Christians, for example, who say, you can't have a blood transfusion, you die, but you can't have it. No, I'm just saying. Yeah, that's, yeah we're going off to No, no, but my, my point to you is that Jesus never taught that. No, no that's right. right? So it's all he would not have wanted you to make your child suffer. He wouldn't have wanted no, that. No, but that's what Christianity that, but that, but is. That, but it's that, a, bad, a bad topic. But what I'm bad saying topic. is that that's their interpretation of it, though. Yeah, but it is. But it doesn't make it Christian. No, but you got, like I said, that's, in, that's just a bad topic because you're talking about a group of people. The, their leader, he wrote his own Bible. For a right. So, so, no, so, so we're not even talking no, so about we, Christianity. No, no, so we have people like that in Islam. Yeah, I know, but I wasn't trying to connect that to an extreme group. I was just connecting it to the strength of being in an Islamic world, an Islamic community, and having the strength. There is an explicit, behind. there's an explicit statement of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Explicit. Mm. A non-Muslim living in a Muslim land, if you treat him uh, unjustly, I will be his advocate on the day of judgment. Yeah. That's a good protection. Yeah. yeah? Yeah, yeah. So when people say, oh, we want to redo this and we're going to make them a slave, we're going to do that, we're going to do this, the Prophet has explicitly said. I honestly believe that uh, when you come to, I don't know whether to you, what are you to, uh, if we say um, a Muslim government type basis, yeah. so, you yeah. know, whatever, this, there, there, and they're ex extreme. I don't think there's anything wrong with being extreme. They're extreme, right? They're, but they, that extremeness... But the, prophet, the, the, prophet, but the Prophet Muhammad said, do not take your religion to extremes. Right. Okay, but I think what I'm trying to say anyway, I might be coming over... Sure. I'm saying, I'd say I believe they would mistreat Muslims worse it happens. than other people. Look, it does, it does happen sometimes. Because they probably think they've got the knowledge. No, no, so but if you, disagree... you know, the, 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 the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said there will come a time where th there will be people where Islam will not go below their throats. And when you look at them from outwardly, you will think that your Islam is nothing compared to them. But it will not have even gone below their throats. In other words, their prayer, their practice, uh, will look like they're the best Muslims. Yeah, I know. Right? But, but, but... You want to go as well? It will not Where's even... Where's your car? But, it, but, it, but... No, uh, we're parked in the Marble Arch. But, 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 but their Islam will not even go below their throats. In other words, their actions towards one another. And their practices will be so evil that the Prophet Muhammad said, if you encounter them, kill them. Destroy them because there will be a corruption on the land.